Family members paid $1,300 a day to have two in-home nurses care for a 98-year-old loved one, but were outraged when they learned the stroke victim was being sexually abused. Team 10 investigator Allison Ash looked into that disturbing video and has new information about whether these two nurses should have even been working. The man you see wrapped in a towel is supposed to be caring for the 98-year-old woman on the bed. Instead, this surveillance video shows him fooling around with another male nurse while the stroke victim is forced to watch. It typifies the old saying that a picture is worth a thousand words. Uh, unfortunately, it's pretty disturbing what was caught on videotape. 10 News blurred the woman's face and the things that don't belong on TV. But in the video, you can clearly see nurses Russell Taralba and Alfredo Ruiz fondling each other's private parts, at times reaching over and touching the victim, sometimes intimately. Both men work for AMS Home Health Care Solutions. When we got here to AMS Home Care Solutions, we saw a man behind the front desk. He got up and locked the front door. Apparently, nobody here wants to talk to us. This may be the reason why. Team 10 contacted the California Department of Public Health and learned AMS has no active license, although they have applied for one. Until it is licensed, AMS should not be offering services. How can an unlicensed home care company promote itself and send in licensed nursing staff without a license. The health department has referred this disturbing case to law enforcement. Russell Taralba was not home when we knocked on his door. Ironically, he once owned a company called Golden Touch Residential Care. One facility that did business with him told me something was seriously wrong with him. He seemed flaky, so they stopped using his services. The family of this victim is hoping he loses his nursing license. Allison Ash, 10 News. Well, the licenses to do home health care have both been pulled from both of those nurses, but they can still work in hospitals. That could change, though, after their next trip to the licensing board, November the 14th. Of course, we will keep you posted.